<clears throat> good morning guys, how are we doing? Hope you're good, happy Monday. Um, so in today's show we're going to kind of address this Monday thing where we kind of have bank holidays or have the weekends and we kind of come into Monday feeling anxious, overwhelmed and uncertain. Alright, so we're going to kind of, if you like, put a SOP in this, a standard operating procedure that allows us to get out of that Monday mentality uh, and start focusing on uh, how we can win the week. All right, so let's get into it. Welcome to the Rise to Thrive show. I'm your host, James Boardman. And if you are coming through, then please do let me know. Either hit the love heart button, morning love for the guys. In the comments, I want you to let me know what the biggest problem is, is that you face on a Sunday night, Monday morning, emotionally, mentally, or physically. Um, and then obviously, please share with anyone that might need this right now. All right, guys. So. Obviously, I'm not outside doing my morning routine. We've got a very, very, very poorly little girl. Um, so I need to be on hand at home. Um, so I have to sacrifice the morning routine and I have to kind of not be too loud so I don't wake everybody up. Um, all right, so let's go through um, why Mondays. So for me, there are, there are three key areas that I think that we struggle most and it is all because of the same reasons. So let's go through them really quick. Okay, so why Mondays? So we usually struggle with anxiety, overthinking, and uncertainty. They're things that we tend to go into Monday feeling, right? They're, they're, they're usually, for most people, the overwhelming feelings that they have, right? Thank you, John. And with the anxiety, overthinking, and uncertainty, usually those things come along because of a lack of control, okay? Lack of control in each one of those areas. So um, I, I often see this in men when I'm working with guys, the difference between guys that plan that week, have more control, uh, and versus people that don't and are very reactive, okay? So that lack of control right here comes in terms of emotionally, mentally, and physically being out of control, right? That That's... That's the standard, right? When we're not um, <clears throat> in control, it's usually because our emotions are all over the place. They're usually because we're overthinking. The anxiety is going through the roof because of the overthinking and the uncertainty. The lack of control mentally, being able to not be nervous, not able to be confident, not able to have that self-esteem. Okay, and then physically, it's kind of like physically just becoming quite... Um, numb to the weak and that's not how we want to live our lives right that's not how we want to be so I've kind of come up um, we do this and uh, it's great to see so many of you on here this morning by the way um, so I've kind of done these three stepping stones if you like now guys that work with me in my coaching brotherhood elite or my elite squad you would do this on a multitude of levels because you guys plan your week right um, but for those that don't, or those that just need a refresher, these are the three areas that I'm gonna cover this morning, all right? So milestones, mindset, and empowerment, okay? These are really three places for you to start. So if you kind of come off the bank holiday and you're kind of feeling like doom and gloom because you've had four days of being around family and friends and it's been awesome, like this morning could be hard to get the engine going, right? But we can't. We can't dwell like that. We've got to stop being snowflakes about it, right? You've just had four great days. If you're waking up and breathing, you're winning, all right? So I never really understood the concept of having four great days off and then feeling glum about having to go back <laughs> to reality. It's just, it, you know, that should show you and highlight you how uh, pot the potential you have in your life, right? And then we go and feel glum about going back to reality. Without that reality, we wouldn't be able to do things we want to do, right? We've got to, we all have to work. That's just the way it is. But we can make, we can, we can add elements of control that make that life a little bit more fulfilling. All right, so milestones. If you haven't this week, if you haven't already, just creating some milestones this week to work towards can be the real difference between feeling hollow and empty and feeling slightly th like you could thrive or finding some passion or direction, right? So just simply having something in each one of the pillars, okay? And I think we're gonna be adding to these pillars very soon, guys, as well. We're gonna add one more pillar, I think, very soon in the next couple of months. Um, 
we're going to be looking at something to do with your business or your career, something to do with your relationships, something to do with your personal development, something to do with your health. The problem is most people come into Monday and it's just, it's just a blank week. It's an empty week. There's nothing there for you to reach. So you just think to yourself, oh my God, survival mode. That's where that comes in. So suddenly we go into caveman mentality, that survival mode, because we're not working towards anything. We're just showing up and being reactive. And that's not what we want to be, right? We want to be proactive. We want to thrive. We want to feel pretty good about ourselves, right? So if you don't set a destination, you're just going to be running around in circles, right? So mindset. So we've got to get out of this snowflake mentality. Like... I generally feel we've got to stop feeling like we're weak-minded. Like when we come into Monday, we should be about ready, man. Okay, we should be like hardened in the mind right here that, hey, I'm ready to own the week. I'm ready to take on the week. I'm ready to go this week. Let's get on with it. Let, you know, I've just had a great four days. Let's smash out this week. Okay, it's a, it's a if you like, it's a test of your character. It's a test of your principles, it's a test of everything that you want to achieve and where you want to get to. If every single Monday we keep having to go around in circles because you're feeling anxious, overwhelmed and uncertain, then that surely is a telltale, telltale sign that you need a good slap around the face. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So let's stop the snowflake mentality and the weak-mindedness. Let's focus on being battle ready. Because if we wake up and we put ourselves in a position where we feel that we're about already, we're going to have more control, we're going to be able to endure the week much better, it's going to be a much more enjoyable week for you. There has to be a level of acceptance that you have to work and that you have to go and do a routine and that reality is still there. You can't have it always good, like four days off, it can't always be like that unless you win the lottery. Okay. So that, that you've got to take the good times and the bad times, that's just the way life is, right? That's just, that is just the way life is. You take the good with the rough, uh, the smooth with the rough. You know, we, that's what we did in the military. There were days in the military when it was brilliant. There were days in the military when you're sitting there in the rain going, what am I doing here? And then optimism. We've constantly got to feel some optimism here. If we're not feeling optimistic, you're going to drown in your sorrows. All right, so there has to be a level of optimism about your life. And if you're not in a place that you want to be in right now, that's not the final end of your life. You know what I mean? If you're going through hardships on a Monday, you're still breathing, so you're in a position to be able to change that, okay? Empowering yourself. I really think this is a powerful thing, and um, I often see women talking about this a lot, empowerment, empower yourself, empower this, empower this. So, like, <laughs> you can see what I've written there. I can't swear, because if we promote this, it won't get promoted. So just get up. Like, like in the morning when your alarm goes off, get up. Don't think twice. Roll out of bed and then power yourself by getting up. Man, it is an incredible feeling, okay? I love getting out there. I love that little battle in the morning, me versus the chimp. I look at it as like a little fight in the morning, a little confrontation. Bang, straight in, kicking its backside. Go for that run. Take charge of your life and what you're doing. Literally empower your own mind and your body to do what you said you were going to do. Stop dwelling and being weak-minded and looking, oh, I just can not get up, I just stayed in bed for 40 minutes. You know, watching Pornhub. Good for you, that's going to really get you far. All right, so what we need to do here is we need to make sure that if we, if you want this, by the way, if you want to clear the anxiety, the overthinking, the uncertainty, and we want to have more control, okay, we want more control, okay, control is going to conquer all of those elements, okay, of your emotional, mental, and physical well-being. It's going to get you much more psyched for the week. It's going to get you focused for the week. And if we want to be the guy that we're trying to be, then we've got to start making some of these sacrifices. We've got to start actually implementing some of these things that I'm talking about. All right, guys? Um, so I hope that helps for your week. I hope you have a cracking week. Make this like the best week ever of the year so far. Coming off the back of four days, you're like, bang, be the guy who walks into the office or be the guy that's on that meeting that like, man, what's this guy had? I want some of what that guy's got there right now. And you can go, well, that's some of that. It's James Borman. So get to the man coach 
and go and join him. They're like, yeah, I'm going to go and join the main coach. <laughs> All right, so um, if, you, if you haven't already done our masterclass, next week we're running a masterclass free training. The details are up in the bio here. Have an incredible week. Have an incredible day. I want to hear all about how you've owned the week. If you want to come back for accountability, if you're not in, my, in any of my coaching programs and you need accountability, come back to this post at the end of the day and tell everyone how you smashed the day. Savvy? Have a good day.